for the statue of eight seconds. No, 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 no. Alright. Well, this almost never happens. In today's video, we not only see a sovereign citizen acting like a clown and getting himself arrested, but we also get to see what happens when he went to court. <laughs> Tidy. Please subscribe. Well, sir, I, I just spoke with the uh, the manager there, right? And she's a little uh, upset because they have some rules around this place. Yeah, they're it's like, a, it's a policy. Could I have your name and badge number? So let's set the scene. We've got an uncooperative douchebag, we've got an angry business owner, and now we've got a police officer. And it doesn't matter which way you slice it, when you are the owner of a business, if you do not want somebody in that business for whatever the reason may be, then that's your choice. You own that building, you own that business. If you say no, it's no. But this clown doesn't seem to think so. Sure, I get my car and we're done here. That's even better. Yeah, I'll have you right But anyhow, it's all but sir overall. And Rodriguez. Rodriguez yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, have a seat. Go ahead. Hold on. Uh, they, they've asked you to leave. They demanded I leave. Right. Are you going to leave? No. And that's probably why Askin turned to demanding so quickly. Why say no? What could you possibly have to gain by refusing to leave a business when you're asked to? Apart from annoying the business owner, that is. You understand that's a crime in the state of Florida. You'd be arrested for that. No, no, they have to, first of all, issue a, um, a no trespassing order that's on me. That's the warning right there. That is the warning. That's yeah, the they warning. have to do yeah, that first. Us they've just... Being here, us being here telling you to leave, that's your warning. If you don't leave it, you can... Well, that's not what the statute says. statute says they have to issue a warning. Now, if I had to guess, the statute he's talking about is the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And he's right. It is illegal for a business to refuse somebody's service based on race, gender, religious beliefs. But it doesn't mention anywhere about being refused service because you're a dick. What's your first name? Um, I'd rather not give my name. I'm just, what do you want me to call you? Uh, call me, call me Honey. Okay, sir. I don't Honey. want there to be an issue, okay? Yeah, neither do I. I'm trying to avoid that. You're doing but everything right. Let me tell you this. They have every right to tell you to leave. Only if I do something wrong. Negative. No, you're wrong again. A business can ask you to leave for any reason it chooses, as long as they're not discriminating against you for a disability or race or gender or anything else like that. They have every right to tell you what, to leave. What statute you going by? I'm not private cool. property, sir. Oh, well, okay. So just like, so for example, if, if you don't have somebody at your house, yeah. that's your property. Right? That's exactly right. And you can tell them to leave for whatever reason, right? That's exactly they, they right. They have the same night to do that. Okay. Yeah, they, oh, well, they do and they don't because when they open that, now, let me let me finish. You're, you're being a gentleman. Okay. Now, when you open that front door, she does, it becomes a public accommodation as per, as per section 760.808 of the Florida Constitution and, and... You mean the statute that says all persons are entitled to the full and equal enjoyment of the goods, services, facilities, privileges, advantages, and accommodations of any place of public accommodation without discrimination or segregation on the grounds of race, color, national origin, sex, pregnancy, handicap, familial status, or religion. Still no mention of being a douchebag, is there? Any business is free to kick you out for that, and they probably will. Also, Title 18, Section uh, 242 of Civil Rights, Federal. Section 242 of Title 18 makes it a crime for a person acting under color of any law to willfully deprive a person of the right or privilege protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. Interesting. I've read it, and it doesn't say anywhere in the Constitution that you have a right to be a... a there we are then. Okay, yeah, it yes, it's open is. to the public, but it's private property. So, I'm agreeing with you. So, so they do have the right to tell you to leave. Yes. Well, well, they always have... Um, well, they really don't. No, because once they open the front door, it's a, well, we're going around in a circle. Okay, but, but could, you, could you just show me that part you were talking about? No. Hold on. No? You know what always baffles me with sovereign citizens? The way they always ask to be shown the specific law that the police officers say that they're breaking. If the fire department were hammering on their door at three o'clock in the morning, screaming at them that their house was on fire, would they ask to see the fire before they tried to escape? I'm trying to avoid taking you to jail. And yeah, okay. I'm done giving you the opportunity. I'm telling you what's happening now. So, are hold you on. Not? I'll tell you when it's time to talk. Okay. Hold on. Mm-hmm. 
She has asked you to leave and you and you have refused. That's what she's telling me. She's she right. Hold on. She demanded. Hold on. Demand. Perfect. Even Number better. Term. Even better. Demanded you to leave and you refused. That's called a crime. Hold on. I'm hold on. Okay. Yeah, I can see you're about to. Hold on. I need your driver's license right now. Yeah. And then I'm gonna trust then I'm gonna get you a trespass warning. I'll get it all on piece of paper. Yeah. But if you don't leave right after that, yeah. you're going to jail. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Got it. You have your ID on you? No, I never carry ID. Okay. I need your name and date of birth then. I don't have to give you my name or date of birth. Of course you don't carry ID. You're a sovereign citizen. Why would you? And I don't have to give you my name and date of birth. Yeah, you're right in some cases and the cases i'm talking about are the cases where you've actually done nothing wrong like in this instance when the business owner asks you to leave you leave and that's one thing i always find really funny about sovereign citizens when they say they don't have to id themselves to a police officer they're kind of right because if you've done nothing wrong and the police ask you for id you don't have to give them id but these sovereign citizens cling on to that while doing something wrong so more often or not they put themselves in that position themselves my patience is running thin if you're not going to give me your name and date of birth you're going to go to jail is that worth it to you uh uh i thought you were going to trespass me first we'll give him your id and then he can process the trespassing doohickey don't know what it's called but then it's an end to the matter but you, being a sovereign citizen, will insist that you don't have to ID yourself and then end up getting yourself arrested. And whose fault will that be? Okay, hey, listen, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and leave, okay? Well, we're not done here. Oh, okay. I have every legal right to demand you, you're, you identify yourself. Yeah. If you refuse, that's also a crime. I have now notified you of this and yeah. you're required to do it. Uh-huh. Is this the hill you wanna die on, man? You know? Yeah, uh, uh, okay, but I have to ask a question. I've read that statute pretty thoroughly. Okay. And it says I don't have to give you an idea unless I've done a crime, committed yeah, a crime, gonna, gonna commit a crime, which I haven't. I haven't committed a crime yet. Oh, yes, you have. The very second the business owner asked you to leave and you said no, your presence in that business then became a trespass. This isn't difficult to understand. Okay, so what you're telling me, as I understand, is, um, uh, where was I? Uh, I haven't, com I haven't committed a crime. I'm not about to commit a crime. Yes, you have. It's called trespassing. Um, I got another question, may I? What is your name? How do you know if I'm giving you the right one? Okay. okay, wait a minute. I got another question. Oh, I'm done. Florida statute 870. Not sure why, but something tells me that this cop is past caring. And is it really worth this much aggravation just to try and prove that you know the law better than people who are charged with upholding the law for a living? I'm, I'm here by special appearance. And in case you didn't know, special appearance is a tool defendants can use to challenge a court's jurisdiction over them. I can never say that word properly. Jurisdiction. Ju can a tool use a tool? And uh, I'm here on special appearance on Sir Jewess with a natural person with my name lawfully and properly spelled in upper and uh, lowercase letters. Oh, well done. Lowercase and uppercase letters. Did you do it yourself? Like a big boy? Yeah, that's a, yeah, but it's in capital letters and that's a fraud. Wait, what? Because his name is written in uppercase, it's not his name. This isn't getting off to a great start for him, is it? Could, could I get my thousand dollars bail back? I'm not the type of person that's going to flee, okay? And uh, can I remove my mask? It keeps me from breathing. No, it slows down. I don't get enough oxygen. I told myself that because I measured the oxygen on the inside. But it also violates my civil rights. But what about your civil responsibilities? You know, to your fellow human beings? And is there anything else we can do for you? Get somebody in to fan you if you're warm? Peel you a grape, maybe? It violates my religion. Religion? Is this guy taking the piss? No, it's a private religion. What is it? It's got to have a name. Just a personal. Religion? Yeah. And also, uh, uh, are the constant Wait a minute. I understand. So, does your religion have a name? No, not that I think of. Any kind of book, 
associated with it. You want me to run it? I know you've got stuff off the internet and masks and you're trying to have this. None of that works. I know, I know, it's almost impossible to hear the judge. That's why I don't like showing court footage. But what the judge is offering is for him to write a letter of apology to the business and pay a small fine, and then it's an end to the matter. I wonder if that's what he does. I have a few uh, questions for the court. Um, uh, could you tell me... Uh, Is this a uh, civil action or a criminal action? Before I answer those questions, it's a criminal. It's a criminal. And um, you, you haven't asked me about. Uh, do I understand the charges yet? But he hasn't been able to ask you anything yet because you basically haven't shut up for two seconds. Um, uh, neither. I'll uh, defend myself. Your Honor, I make a motion in this case for it to be dismissed. There are, uh, uh, we, oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, th <laughs> I'm not sure if this is meant to be funny, but this daughter in old turd has not got a clue what he's doing. Why would he decline legal representation? He needs it. Really needs it. Matter wrinkles lost you place in the sovereign citizen's guidebook, have you? Surely it can't take that long to read. It just says, don't follow the law. Uh, no, I, I'd like to know what the charges are first. I can help with that. Trespassing. I thought we'd cleared that up earlier. I don't understand. But you're a sovereign citizen. Sovereign citizens understand the law better than the people who make those laws. But let me clear it up for you. Trespassing is whoever, without being authorized, licensed, or invited, willfully enters or remains in any structure or conveyance, or having been authorized, licensed, or invited, is warned by the owner or the leasee of the premises, or by a person authorized by the owner or leasee, to depart and refuses to do so, commits the offense of trespass. Th does that help? Because it's all in there. You were asked to leave. You didn't. I object. Well, what I don't understand is, well, one thing I want to know is, uh, Your Honor, is that you said this is criminal action, okay? If it's a criminal action, uh, are we going under the, uh, wait a minute. This is starting to feel like a car crash. You know you shouldn't be watching, but you can't help but watch. He's really struggling. And you're right, it wouldn't have been a criminal action. If you had given them your ID when they asked you to, they would have just issued you with a ticket for trespass, and then you'd have heard no more about it. Maybe a small fine? I don't know. But oh no, you're a sovereign citizen. You know better than anyone in a position of authority. And look where it's got you. In court for refusing to leave a restaurant. Three hours later. Under duress and under threat of jail, I make a plea of not guilty. After all that, after refusing to leave a restaurant when you were asked to, after refusing to identify yourself to the police, after refusing, well, just after refusing everything, you finally decided, after probably wasting thousands of dollars in taxpayers' money, that you're going to plead not guilty, which means you have to go to trial and waste more of the court's time, more of the American taxpayers' dollars, and all because you didn't want to wear a mask. Because that's what this was all about. Idiot. I've made this video today. I've made it very quickly because there's a very specific reason why I wanted to make it. I wanted to make this video to remember Cliff, Schrodinger's cat. This community got some tragic news yesterday that Cliff passed away sadly and suddenly while he was away for work. And it's going to leave a huge hole in this community. He was well liked by everyone. If you needed anything cleared up, Cliff was the guy to ask. I sent him many a message asking, you know, does this video look right? Can I say this? Should I say it? And he always seemed to have the right answer. So I just wanted to send my condolences to his wife, Nicole, to a Marvel girl who worked closely with him and everyone else who was involved in his team. 
it's absolutely mind-blowing that something like this could happen to somebody so young. He was three years younger than me, and it really does make you think that we haven't got a lot of time here, so it's probably best to enjoy the time we have got. So that's it. Take care, everyone. Bye.